And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Hi, Kevin Selly in the Weather Center. Finally, we get a little bit of a break from the cold here on through the upcoming weekend. Temperatures running back above average for this time of year. Sunny and warmer is the forecast for Friday. 60 is above average. Average about 54 for Amarillo this time of year. A little breezy in the afternoon. Southwest winds probably gusting near 25 miles per hour at times. After a cold start, though, we will be down to the low to mid 20s. Some teens in spots early on Friday. That storm system that brought some frozen precipitation to the southeastern portions of the panhandles pulling on away into the southeastern portion of the country. And so you look back upstream, it's pretty quiet here for us for the next couple of days. Still, maybe some more winter on tap though, the next weather maker. What we look for is troughs and ridges of high pressure and low pressure in the atmosphere. So see how the yellow and orange colors go up into the Pacific Northwest and the northern Rocky Mountains, that's a ridge. And then the trough over Texas, that's the storm system that just came through here. So it's warmer under the ridge. That is sinking air. Now look out toward the Pacific Northwest and the West Coast. See the blue coming in? That's a trough. See how it dips down toward San Francisco, Central California? That's a low pressure area. That's the next storm system for the middle part of the week. So we'll follow that inland into the southeastern portion of the country. And then it'll take a turn toward the panhandle. The track of a storm system is always key winter storm systems to what type of precipitation you get. If the storm center goes right over us, it's a very difficult forecast because you're mixing the warmer air and the colder air. If the track is a little more northerly, you're in the warm sector across the panhandle. That's more, more likely to be a liquid precipitation event or a rain event. If the track is more southerly, that allows the colder air to come down and more likely gets snow. So it's still several days away. Of course, we're going to watch that very carefully. Friday, good day, 60 degrees. A little breezy at times, plenty of sunshine. Weekend looks pretty good. There's a couple of little disturbances on Saturday. Brings some extra cloud cover. No precipitation expected there. But look at Sunday's high, 73 degrees. Monday and Tuesday are quiet, but Tuesday, leading edge of some colder air ahead of that next storm system, 46 for the high there. Mixed precipitation, we're going to call it right now, with a 50% chance. I feel pretty confident about precipitation of some type on Wednesday. A high temperature of only 33. We'll let the computer models run and, of course, keep you posted.